Hi guys, it's Maike. I'm back with the 24 weeks of Christmas cards 2020. Here's the card that I made. And um, when I saw it in the web shop for 5 euros, it was discounted. I thought it was one stamp. And it came in with 6 icons. And yeah, I'm, I'm jesting. It's not the 50th card, but it feels like it. I've been at it all day. In the end, I figured out I have to let go of my perfectionism. And I thought actually I had a really clever idea with these tri square from Simon Says Stem because they, I thought they the same size. So I die cut windows and then stemmed through it and that wasn't very nice. They were not in the middle. And then when I had to die cut, I mean it's a solid stamp and a solid die. And you can't see anything you're doing. So I learned that the hard way. Let me say that. <laughs> and now I measured it, my um, icons or the icons, uh, well, yeah, they're mine, I bought them, uh, are one, two eight, so one quarter inch or 3.2 centimeters. So I'm dividing my card front, and this is a mock-up because, you know, once I stamp over the pencils, I won't even be able to erase them. So I'm stamping it on here once, seeing if it's right, adjust it if I have to. And believe me, in other versions I had to many times, but it's okay because in the end it's really good. And I think I'm gonna make this only once. So if you want it, let me know down below. I will send it to you because <laughs> I can't see it anymore. I no, I don't hate it, but um, I took inspiration from the very first 24 weeks of Christmas. So this is halfway, I thought, yeah, it's time again. Where I did the do-it-yourself glitter paste with the yellow and pink and non-traditional colors. Um, but those were distress inks, so now I'm using stamping inks and I'm using a combination of memento and card deco. But anything that you have, of course, will do because I only have those two, I'm using those two. Um, this is the second one I measure because the first one um, was not as tall. So 10.5 centimeters, but it turned out to be 10 centimeters. So when I stamped it, the icons moved because the mock-up is smaller and yeah, yeah. I was so done with it that now I am like, you know, if it's not completely straight, I don't really care anymore. And uh, I measured, there's 1.3 centimeters on either edge. And then there should also be in between on the top and on the bottom there, I think there's a, a millimeter more. But that's visually more pleasant anyway. So I'm checking if it's all straight. So I think my T-square ruler is not square. And neither are these, to be honest. Because <laughs> if I do it with... Yeah, well, anyway. I need new stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Um, I also want to apologize if my videos are longer than, I think, 8 or 10 minutes now. There's automatic mid row advertisements uh, i can't switch them off without switching off all the advertisement and i know it doesn't bring me much money uh, about eight or nine dollars a month but yeah i feel sad <laughs> i thought maybe i can do a patreon page or maybe a donate to paypal button um but yeah uh, pa patreon actually costs me money every month and if i don't get any patrons it's not good is it no it, it costs me more than it makes youtube so i don't know what to do if you have ideas you can direct message me uh, preferably on facebook because then you can use messenger uh, it's cards by mike let me know if you have ideas i am about to switch it all off but i also like the 70 dollars payments i get once a year because <laughs> i can buy stuff like this that make me <coughs> stressed so I'm positioning it first as you can see on the mock-up then I see if it's straight and I adjust it if I have to and then I stamp it twice on my 
pretty card panel. And it's a panel because I messed up many card pieces by this time. And I'm, I'm, I die, well, I, die cut, I, I cut off the edges because the, the, you can see it's not very straight. That's me. But I try to cut it as close to the edge as possible so I, it's easier to see where you position it. And I'm using the ruler to butt it up. There's the colors, <laughs> that was really quick, but you can look back in the playlist if you're interested. And um, yeah, it, it's not 100% precise, but if you want it, I will send it to you. The first one to comment will get it. <laughs> See, it looks great. Yeah, this was my best version until I. Uh, try the sentiment. And last week I used the Unico Simply Set Blocks Christmas version and I wanted to use it again because I thought that's nice and bold between all those colors. But there's a dip in my stem and after trying it four times I cut off uh, some of the footage um, because I wasn't going to risk stamping between my icons and I thought I have to do a Simply Set Block I can cut it and then I have a little banner. That didn't work, so I, I stamped the sentiment twice, and the second time it moved, so I was well, yeah, <laughs> really fed up and almost crying. And you can see my hands are also really dirty from all that stamping, but um, I still like how it turned out because it's non traditional in, in the colors. But uh, this time I actually paid attention, you know, to the green tree. And maybe orange ornament and I don't know is that a red robin I don't have red so I went with magenta and then uh, also made sure that there's two bubbles and the Christmas tree they weren't all in the same place and um, this is spring green this is a very juicy one <laughs> you have to be careful <laughs> it is um, also twice or you know, maybe a little bit more than twice the speed and I did leave it all in because uh, you know, it's important <laughs> but basically you have to yeah, you know I try to, to measure it this way and then the other way but it doesn't stick because it's not you know photopolymer or uh, clear stamp so when you try to butt it, ruler the other way, it moves because it doesn't stick. I even tried it with my grid line acetate, but it doesn't stick. So, <laughs> and um, I, I have one of those stamp on my jigs. You know, do you remember those with the L-shaped corner that you have to butt it up against? Uh, but yeah, I like to stamp it twice because these colors are. You can see it. It's uh, quite patchy the first time. And then they become nice and pretty and then you know when they dry they will sink into the paper and even out even more <laughs> I'm really careful I'm trying to clean my hands with a dirty rag so that that yeah yeah and <laughs> I don't want to mess it up you know if I had I probably would have thrown it all we even the, uh, the yeah, it took me six hours and there's six hours of video footage I went through and uh, over you <laughs> <coughs> I think if you do this on little mini cards then it would be nice if you do just the one and uh, now I know for sure that the one with the circles that's from impression obsession oh, so impression obsession was from the first card. I'm not cutting them apart because lining them up will be hell. So here's my Unico. And um, I'm just checking if it's straight because it, it's uh, straight enough. I'm using Versa Fine Clear Onyx Black Ink, or yeah, it's a mix because I refilled it with Onyx Black Ink. And uh, I put it in the middle so I could, you know, uh, cut it out easier with my cutter. But there's spots where it doesn't want to stamp. So under the R from Mary. 
And I like Mary in bright because of the bright colors. But I stamped it a few more times and then gave up on it and pulled out this tiny type from Clearly Besotted. And it's very tiny. I'm using my ruler again to make sure there's no bend in the stamp. And it's also positioned better than the... Do you remember the one with the blue squares that I made? It wasn't centered. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. I, I don't have it at hand, so I will show you. But yeah, I stamped it twice and I moved and I was like... Ah! I could scream, but I will spare you that. So I pulled out this banner and this is from Colline Design, but there's many available, of course. And I'm stamping it on a piece of scrap. Um, and this is actually a tiny type. I think the other one was a different, which I, well, I didn't keep it at hand, I think. No, sorry. And uh, I'm generously positioned it in the middle so I can um, that cut it and not have you know issues with spacing or stuff like that you know if you put it too much to the edge it might not fit and then, yeah and I'm making sure it's straight so I'm taping it down and pass it through so we are nearing the end. I'm just putting the panel with some tape runner on the card base. And, oh, sorry, I forgot to turn it off. And now some foam tape underneath my banner. And I covered up my little mistake there. And then, yeah. <laughs> In the end, I think it turned out really nice. Uh, I kept the mock up. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna make it again. But now I know how to do it. Maybe it's easier. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.